Hey guys, so in the Bible, in the book of Philippians, Paul talks about how for him to live is Christ and to die is gain. And what he means by that is that whenever he's living on earth, to live is to be as Christ was. And I think we've we've talked about this before, um, but I wanted to bring up an analogy of what this is like. Look, we are not the sun. The sun is a huge, bright, shining star, right? And it provides light to all of the earth, right? And if you are in the daytime, you, the moon isn't all that important in the daytime. But if you go to nighttime, whenever the night is, is happening, if there is no moon, it becomes very dark. But in the darkness, the moon reflects the sun, and so it's not the moon that's generating the light, but by reflecting the light of the sun, it brings light to the darkness. And that is what it means whenever he says to live is Christ. It means that we stand in the dark places at times and we reflect the light of the sun. Now, I want you to notice something. There are times whenever the moon is not reflecting the light of the sun. There are times whenever you are might not be in a position because the moon is is always the moon but it's not in the position that it can reflect the light of the sun you have to be if you want to be a witness if you want to say for you to live is christ you have to be in the position to be able to reflect that light and you know like if if not then you know like the the darkness gets to be dark but if we want to draw people into the light, then we have to reflect the light of Christ. So I just highly recommend, as you think about this verse, and you think about think about like the day, the people that you interact with, right? Think about what out there is darkness, and are you shining the light of Christ? Thanks for taking a minute.